Okay, so today I'm going to show you my dog door that I created. Um, I used um, just this uh, clear running plastic that you buy at a uh, um, local supermarket or block, big box store. And as you can see, it consists of actually two flaps. There is one flap that is cut like that. And as you can see, it's got two rows of magnets uh, on the bottom and the sides. And then the other flap that fits through the door like that also has magnets on. Now these have sharp little bumps behind it over here. So what I did was I put them back to back and then I just stitched them with a sewing machine. Now these magnets, they do have double-sided tape on or tape on them, but they don't stick. I even tried to use epoxy glue and that didn't work. They found the best thing to do was just use a stapler and staple them on. So now as you can see, when the dog wants to go, um, when the dog wants to go uh, in, all he does is he goes over here and he goes in like that. Now when he wants to come out, then he comes out, he brings, um, as you can see, both of these things will open there like that. So that's the that's coming out, he's got both of these things flap and as you can see they magnetize together. So the dog wants to go in now, let's see if she'll go in. Go on, in you go. Okay, so then I built, as you can see, I built a ramp over here um, so that the dog can have easy access to there and not do too much damage. I'm going to take you inside. All it is is a piece of plywood, cut a hole in it, and on the other side I'll show you what I did um, in order to close it at night time or if we decide to leave the house for a bit of security. So as you can see, this is the inside over here. And what I've done is I've just put couple of pieces of wood over here and I've made a sliding door that slides shut with a latch so that I can keep it closed at night no other animals can come in or if we go away during the day it's locked up open that slide it open for the dog I also created this little platform it's just a removable platform so the dog doesn't ruin the windowsill over here and uh, let's see if we can get the dog to go out Fiona go on go see what's going on what's going on go see what's it yeah you see, he thinks the mother's coming home. But anyway, so that's my dog door. As you can see from this side, when the dog pushes on, it pushes both flaps. And when they come in, you can see the one flap over there. Simple process, doesn't cost a lot of money. Those magnets cost me, I think, uh, about $8 or $9 at uh, um, Lowe's. And uh, the plastic, little plastic uh, thing over here was about $5. And then I just sewed it together and these were scraps of plywood and wood that I just had. So it literally cost me under $15. As you can see, the dog's in and out quite happily. So that's my dog door. Um, I'll leave a description as to a few things on how I built it. I'll also put this on my website as well. So thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video and uh, you can see the links in the bottom there that will take you to the website where I'll have a little bit more information about this on there.